Hello and welcome back. I'm Son of Mogaf and we're doing some Project Zomboid today. I uh, took a little bit of a break from playing this. Um, if you've been watching my previous videos, you know, so I've. Do you use nose? Use nose. Great way to start a video, Son of Mogaf. Well done. Let me try that again. If you've been watching my previous videos, you will know that I've not been feeling particularly great. And um, this is one of those games where you need to pay attention to what you're doing and how you do it. And being ill and that doesn't go along very well. And I feel rotten today. But I also wanted to play this. Oh, it's raining. Oh, of course it's bloody raining. Why wouldn't it be raining? Um, I did have a quick go through this last night in the sense that I did the um, the trapping stuff and the farming stuff. But I also... I, I want to try something else today um, that I've not done a lot of. And previously I noticed that there's a bit of a roadblock of derelict cars like on the highway and I figured I, you can pull those apart and get parts from them you can get like metal sheets and pipes and things so I've got my propane torch and my welding mask and I don't know if you need um, welding rods to do this but I'm gonna go grab some of those just in case so we're gonna hopefully if I don't get distracted like I normally do, hopefully we are going to go and, um, I just need to check the fuel on my torch, yeah, it's good enough. Um, yeah, we're going to go some, go wreck some cars, go, go some, I apologise, please forgive me, I'm not well. So if I just jump over here, I've got food. I've also got food in the van. I'm still, I still really want to paint a red stripe on this. I'm going to have to go through the mods and see if there's a paint your vehicle mod. Um, okay, so we're going to take this onto the highway. And we're going to go see how this pulling cars apart thing. I need to do more stuff with vehicles. Um, because I haven't done a lot with it, apart from fix up this van and drive it about the place. There are a bunch of cars, like, up here that you can see I've, I've pulled apart previously. But, uh, putting them back together? Yeah, not so much. I th think... The the jam is this way. I am expecting there to be a few zombies. I'm still quite surprised. I mean, I shouldn't be about the lack of zombies because I've been killing them regularly and on mass, as you can see here. Look, there's just loads of dead, dead. There's loads of dead everywhere. So I shouldn't be that surprised the zombies aren't like overwhelming the place. But it always seems like they're scattered for some reason. I shouldn't complain. It does make it easier, and after you know having such a long break from from it as a whole, you know I, I should really get used to it again. Before oh yeah, there's actually quite a few zombies up here, but again they seem kind of scattered to me. Come on, no 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 I don't. There's that spiffos down there. I'm tempted to go in there and look for some stuff. So there are quite a few zombies about up here. I guess I've just done a good job of clearing, it, clearing out the area. Where is this traffic jam I remember? It's like a restaurant or something. I've not come up here very much. Looks like a sort of garage type thing. So there is a lot still to do and explore. Um, uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, no, 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 no. Let me zoom in a little bit so I can see him better. Is that another storage unit? I might have to go in there as well. There we go. So here's some derelict cars, but there are a bloody... 
lot of zombies around here and we're going to have to clear these out. This might be a murder episode. So let's start by just having a little bit of a clean up. I can, oh god, that one went straight down. That made me jump for some reason. It's like, oh, I'm going to hit the zombie with the baseball bat. And then I do it. And uh, surprise myself. Not... I blame the illness. I blame it. I blame it for everything. I'm just going to get rid of these guys. Like, I'm sure when I played this previously, and it was a long time ago, so it doesn't surprise me that much that my memory is different to the experience. But normally... I was under the impression they like bunch up into big groups. Oh. <sighs> that background scream scared the pants off of me. That's right, yeah, they flew off. They didn't. I, I'm exaggerating, it just made me jump. Right, come on. The annoying thing is, you go into an area that you haven't been in, there's a bunch of zombies and you can't do the thing that you want to do because you're too busy getting rid of them okay right luckily like I say when they're separated they're not as dangerous just going to oh there are quite a few around here um come on guys could you not... I don't like fighting them in the woods. They tend to jump out from behind trees and get you. I'm, I'm shocked I'm not being jumped on by now. Never mind. We'll just eliminate all these. I need to get into the habit of not saying kill them. Because they're already dead. They're zombies. I've made this comment before. Holy hell, just stop. Right, okay, that's not too bad. Another problem is, like, like eliminating these zombies makes noise which attracts zombies. <laughs> it's a bit of... A bit like, you clear some out and more move in, and then you clear them out, and more move in, and... The rain stopped, that's a good thing. Um, well, I kind of need water. Some of my water barrels back at um, the safe house are getting a little low. I've got so many of them, it's not like I'm in danger of running out of clean water. But it's... Um, or rather, water that I can make clean. But um, it, it's a little... Look worrying, you know. Right, okay, so let's get these tools. Uh, the mask and the rods. Let me see if I can get these uh, cars wrecked. I'm not really sure how this works. I just click it. Dismantle car wreck. Huh. Easier than expected. Oh god, that looks like it takes a long time though. I might speed that up a little bit. Oh, and I'm hungry as well. That's something I didn't notice. Probably probably should have noticed. Um, okay, so we'll have some soup. Looks like there's quite a lot of stuff I got from that as well. I mean, I do expect to get a lot of stuff from it. It's a car wreck, but... Let's... Uh Oh, I've got spare bags on me. I, gu I guess it doesn't matter that much. Uh, just going to have a quick look round. So what did we get? We got metal bars, metal pipes, and metal sheets. That's not a bad haul, actually. Three metal sheets, a metal pipe, and a metal... What was the other thing? Metal pipe and a metal bar. That's actually really good. I wonder if that's putting up... My metalwork skill and my mechanic skill. Where am I there? 124.939. I'm not going to remember that. 
just want to see if it if one or the other or both goes up if it's both i'm just going to go on a on a card destroying spree i think get some cool level ups right so right my metal work went up but my mechanics didn't okay well i'm all right with it i am going to go ahead and allow that uh, bar, pipe, small and large sheets. That's pretty cool. I, I need to re-equip that bag. I didn't realise it, it bloody did that. Uh, oh, is that zombie heading for me? Please don't head for me, zombie man. Please. Please. Okay, right. Let's get rid of him. Oh, God, right. That went better than expected. I'm not sure how I expected it to go, but... Um, I was either not expecting it to be more difficult to do, or to get less resources, so... Um, right, okay. So, what the hell is going on? with these bags. Right, let me... Equip secondary. Oh, it's because I put my bat on both hands rather than just primary. That was my fault. Cool. Right, I'm going to need to pause it for a minute. There's a thing I need to do. I'll um, cut out and I'll be right back once I'm sorted. Do apologise. Okay, I'm back. I do apologise about that. I had to go do uh, sick people things. But I, I'm alright. I'm not too bad. Don't uh, worry or anything. I'll live, I think. I think I've got this zombie virus. I'll change the channel name to the Zombie Son of Mogaf. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. There's a bunch of cars down there. I could go pull them apart. Let's uh, go and dismantle some more derelicts, shall we? It is raining again. It's been raining on and off. This uh, Project Zomboid day. Since I woke up. This is further out than I gave it credit for. I am do having to do a lot of weaving, so it's uh, taking me longer. And let's face it, I'm not in the fastest vehicle. I'm sure there is a bunch of derelict vehicles up here, like a whole roadblock of them. I maybe should have checked it out beforehand? I didn't do that, did I? No, of course I bloody didn't. Oh, okay. Take a swing round here. Where is this going? I do wish there was a better in-game map. I've got several like paper maps that I could keep on my person, on my character. But at the same time, you know, the best map is the one on that website that I used before in one of the previous episodes. I'm also down to about a half tank of gas as well. I might have to gas up on the way home. Right, what I'll do is I'll cut away from this and I'll cut back when I've found some cars to dismantle. So you guys don't have to uh, watch me just drive down an empty road. Okay, here we are. I found some derelict vehicles. Some of them, I notice, have got parts that I might be able to salvage. None of them look like they're in terribly awesome condition, though. But, uh, let's have a little clear out. Doesn't look like there's many actual zombies over here, which is good for time. Being a sleepy-headed character, you do have to get back to your bed quite a lot. But, um... 
Yeah, let's uh, let's pop in here and see what's in here. Nothing useful. Nothing useful at all. Does this car start? No key. Um, can I hotwire this? Can I? Oh, it looks like I can. So I'm just going to back that up. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I can siphon gas from this, can't I? Oh, I don't have a bloody gas can on me. What an idiot. I need to put an empty gas can in the... Um, in the truck, don't I? It's got a wrench in the back. It is raining. I think I brought my umbrella. Yes, I did. Hey! So let's... Uh, equip that there. That should help. Now, let's have a look-see. Oh god, look at the state of this. Jesus. Fine, I'll, uh, I'll just steal the radio. And, uh, yeah. Oh, oh. God damn it. I hate having to click the vehicle mechanics thing every time and I'll take some uh, engine parts as well since I'm here I need a wrench god damn it uh, oh god I brought the wrench thank Christ there's one in the boot of this car so it wouldn't have been a big deal I could have just like taken that one but here we go boink there what did we get? Uh, one. Got one spare engine part. That's kind of sad. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> we'll deal with it. No deaders about. So let's dismantle this one. I'll, I'll speed it up. So we don't have to wait. There we go. Oh, I'm still getting wet. Oh, no, of course I'm still getting wet. I haven't got me umbrella equipped. There we go. Um, need to get that back on my secondary. Right, a metal pipe and a couple of metal sheets. This is all good. I'll be able to do some metal work when I get back. And uh, upgrade my metalworking skill. Hmm. That's locked. Oh, there's an umbrella in there as well. Yay, I guess. Right. Anything in the back of here? No. Locked. That's also locked. Hmm. Let me think. Oh, if I can... St <sighs> right, let's just have a look. See, this is... Oh, 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 there's a... There's a... Dude there, hang on. This is why I don't like... Doing stuff around the trees. It's, um... They can just pop right out and get you. There you go. Stamp on that guy. There we go. Lovely. Right. Let's get back to this. I'll boost the radio for my electronics and I'll take what is that, the front right window out where, where's the window front right window car key is required huh, might have to smash the window then, oh god what what are you doing here See what I mean? They just come right up behind you. How? Oh, God, that one was really quick. And I just notice there's another one there as well. This one right there. God, I don't like this. I had... Oh, God. Oh, I had paranoia in the last episode. And I'm going to have it in this episode as well at this rate like god damn 
Right, okay, let me see if it's got a decent battery and some fuel, and then I can move it. Uh, battery has got charge. Tank has got gas. Well, hey. Let's, uh... Wait. Oh. I thought I could just click and go smash window. Oh, god damn it. That's probably just me being dumb in the brain. Uh, front right window, smash window. And now I can get in. It's funny, climbing through broken windows in buildings like gets your player cut up but not in this not in cars it's fine you could just climb through a broken window in a car come on start oh I'm gonna have to bloody hotwire this as well aren't I? I I don't like this situation oh so oh my god that was a failure Let's try again. There we go. I'm going to have to head back soon. It's a bit of a shame. There we go. Did I take the radio out of this? Oh, I don't remember. God damn. Yes, I did. Uh, I won't take the engine parts right now. Oh. Okay. So do the same on this one, I guess. <laughs> Not a lot of choice in the matter. I'll uh, steal the radio. And I will front right window. I'll t I'm just going to go ahead and break it. There we go. Let's have a look. Uh, oh, matches and painkillers. I guess guess I can take both of those. Uh, can I pop those in there? I can. No point in carrying three radios just in my hand. It's uh, Oh, and I need food. Oh, it's, it's always something going on. There we go. And yes, my character is getting tired. Jump out there. Damn, there's another bloody zomboid down there. Let's get rid of her. I'll see if I can take some of these cars apart. Oh, look at that. It's like a sweet journalist's van with little things on top. It's a shame I can't have that. I'm going to check this van out. Oh, it's locked. Of course it's bloody locked uh, can I get round the front come on let me round the front damn it hey oh, oh <laughs> kind of surprised myself that I just ran right through I wasn't expecting to hey it's actually not that bad standard seats let's uh, steal the radio I'll take that apart later. Uh, battery's got a charge. It's got some s gas in the tank. That's not so bad. Can I take the window out? No, I'm going to have to smash it again. I'm doing so much damage to these cars. Uh, yeah, I'll take a lighter. I don't need crayons or light bulbs, really. Let's hop in the driver's seat. Oh, didn't didn't mean to do that. That's that's my bad. Oh no! And then I got in the right seat, and oh my god! Right, let's. Uh, did that work? Yes, it did. Right, let's just get it out of the way. So, oh, again, I need to uh, do the thing where you unlock the doors. Where is that? Lock all doors. 
Oh, no, it's that I needed to do, wasn't it? Unlock the trunk. I swear I'm going insane. Right, let's see what parts this has got that I might be able to salvage. This vehicle stuff is so interesting. I'm a bit annoyed at myself that I haven't looked at it in depth sooner. Uh, standard car battery. Regular tyres. Regular brakes. It does have performance suspensions. None of them particularly high grade. It's a bit of a shame. I'm going to pull this car apart. And then I think... Oh, can, can I? There you go, dismantle car wreck. That's... <laughs> look, it's got stuck on the edge of it, look. <laughs> oh, early access. You do delight me. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot here, isn't there, for me to pull apart. This is even bigger than I thought it was. It's a shame I'm getting tired so quickly. Didn't get a lot from that, actually. Um, just pop that in there. Pop those in there. How much space have I got left in there? Not much. If I... What I can do is I'll pull this one apart and then I'm going to have to head back. It's a bit of a shame, but I can always come back in a, another episode. Propane torch. Oh. Damn. My torch is out of fuel. Um. Oh, poo. I brought welding rods, but I didn't... Well, I'm not going to be able to pull that apart then. Let's, uh... Right, what I'll do is I'll, I'll get this uh, suspension out of here that I like to look of. Rear right. So I've got to get rid of the rear right tyre. Oh, God damn. I need a jack and a lug wrench. Do I have that in the back of my van? Oh, no. What am I doing? Uh, I... I think I'm going to put these bags in there as well. I've got so many spare bags in the back of that truck, it's unbelievable. All this just for one bloody half-decent suspension. Admit, no, I mean, it's more than half-decent, but... So, I've got to get the rear right tyre off. Oh, 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 that's a... That, that's a bad person noise. Let me... The thing is, my character's tired, so it's hard to see. Oh my god, it's right there. This is this is just nightmarish. I can't see where that zombie went. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm gonna have to leave. I can't see anything. It's dark, and my character's too tired. That's a bit of a shame, but um, well. Oh my god, why can't I see anything? Let me put the headlights on. That's not a lot better. So, yeah, I'm going to drive all the way back home. I'll, um... I'll cut back when I'm closer. Okay, I think we're just getting a little bit closer to home now. It's, uh... Really, really very dark. You can see, uh, like, I feel a little bit bad about bailing out on getting some more loot there, but uh, it's you can see just how very dark it is. It's not worth it. That, you know, getting a performance suspension for one of my vehicles isn't worth getting killed. Which might have happened, like... Oh, 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 oh. It's just so dark, I can't see anything. Uh, I think that's... Straight enough, right? I normally go forwards into this. I, I don't know why I didn't, but, um... Let's turn the engine off. Yeah, I mean, if there was a zombie here, how would I know? I can't even see my own character. 
It's going to be interesting finding the door. Oh, it's not so bad, actually. So, yeah, my character's really tired and he's cold, so... Uh-oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's kind of convenient, having that little light there, actually. Like, that's with the light on. Oh, it does actually make a big difference. It's just because I was facing the corner, I think. There we go. Right, let me dump this bag on the floor. Uh, it's that one. And I'll sort that loot out another day. I'm going to call that as an episode of uh, Project Zomboid for two video Tuesday. I'm feeling pretty rough, so either the second video for today is going to be a good few hours off or I'm just going to cut it down to one episode for the day. It depends on, um, yeah, if I'm well enough to, you know, get it all together. But um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Kind of interesting playing with this vehicle stuff. I'm, yeah, a little bit annoyed that I haven't done it sooner, but... Um, We'll do some more. What I'll do is I might have to go for a drive around the map and scavenge a bunch of quality parts up and do up these vehicles. Because I've got, what, four vehicles right outside my door. I've got my uh, sweet not-quite A-team van. I've got that dirt brown-coloured hearse, which is hilarious to me. I mean, who doesn't want to drive around the zombie apocalypse in a brown hearse? I mean... If you don't, you don't deserve to live. And then I've got those two station wagons blocking the entrance, so I could technically do them all up. Um, maybe I'll even go on a hunt, maybe find a like a sports car or something so I can get around a little bit quicker when I'm doing stuff like this. But, um, yeah, those are all issues for another day. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I will be seeing you soon. I'm just not sure when. But, uh, yeah. I uh, hope you guys are all feeling better than me, and I'll see you real soon. That's a bad person noise.